Guys, I'm here with Treat Williams. How are you tonight? Good, happy, yeah. relaxed. Yeah, there's great vibes here. Going to the here. movies. Going to the movies, there right? Yeah. So speaking of the movies, can you tell me a little bit about this one and what made it special? My Americans don't know about, but it's it's the beginning is of the Iditarod came out of a uh, there was a, a, a very a outbreak of diphtheria in 1925 in, in Nome, Alaska, and uh, the only way to get the drug there was by dog sled team, and they'd never done that before, and it became. The reason they do the Iditarite is to honor that there, it was 70 degrees below zero. It was very difficult. People put their lives on the line to save these kids' lives. So, And uh, it's very beautiful to look at, and it's got a great love story, and uh, make you cry a little. Good. I love crying during okay. movies. You'll yeah, cry. so I think I'll like it. Tell me a little bit about your character in the film. Well, I play the town doctor, and my job in the, in the story, and his job in the real story, was to try and keep the kids alive as they started getting sick until the drugs got there. So... I'm desperately trying to keep the kids alive. Did you feel yourself getting actually emotional while filming this well, we'll at all? We'll see tonight. Oh god! We'll I, I guess we will. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it away. <laughs> and what do you want the but audience to do? I cried to take profusely. Oh, okay. Well, profusely. Guys, even grown men and grown women cry. I weep like a baby. <laughs> Well, I'm excited for it then. I'm you excited got me really, too. I can't wait to really see me hyped. cry. It's I know. So exciting. I can't wait to see you cry I'm too. Crying in the movies. I, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank what, you. What do you oh. want the audience to take away from this film? Uh, that they were entertained and that they That's felt good. something and they learned something. You know, and then they had a good time and they go home to bed and tomorrow will be a nice day. <laughs> I plan Simple. on it. That's exactly how my routine is going to go while watching this movie. It's easy. Yeah, it's easy. It's very yeah, easy. Yeah. Can you remember a no, memorable moment? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, scratch no, that ahead, one, guys. Ahead, Can you remember a very memorable moment from filming it that just really sticks with you, that you kind of think about yes, every now and the first day I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs. We shot that movie two, mile, what? two miles up. Oh. Two miles. Wow. I had no air in my lungs. Okay. And it took us about four days to acclimate. So okay. that was the hardest part was getting used to the to the. Altitude. It sounds like a lot. I fly airplanes and I get dizzy at 10,000 feet, you can imagine. That's so to be there at 10,000 feet for a long period of time, two miles, That's long way up. Well, guys, can't wait to see that. You know, Denver's a mile high city and this is. Treat Williams, the star of Everwood and Hair, has died after being involved in a motorcycle accident. He was 71 years old. The actor's death was confirmed to people on Monday evening by his agent of 15 years. He was killed this afternoon. He was making a left or a right and a car cut him off. MC Fasson says, I'm just devastated. He was the nicest guy. He was so talented. Jacob Glebo, the fire chief for Desert Vermont, says the crash happened on Monday around 5 p.m. on Route 30 by Long Trail Auto near Dosset. Pagribo, the incident involved a single car and Williams motorcycle. Investigators believe the driver of the car was turning and didn't see the motorcycle. Gribo says the motorcyclist was the only person hurt and a life net helicopter was summoned to airlift him to a hospital in New York. The Manchester Fire Department responded and set up the landing zone for the helicopter. Other emergency services that responded include East Dorset Fire. The Vermont State Police also put out a press release later on Monday confirming Williams' identity and the details surrounding the crash. Police confirmed the investigation is in its early stages and team members will return to the location of the collision on Tuesday, June 13th to continue processing the scene. Thank you so much for watching.